this video, I'm going to demonstrate magic variables in Apple shortcuts. Variables are a way to store a bit of data and associate with the name. Magic variables are a way to do just that, but rather than having to explicitly create a variable and store the data, shortcuts is creating a variable and storing the data for you automatically. This harks back to the early days of the application before Apple purchased it, and where we had to explicitly store every little item immediately after creating the data. This magic variable approach truly was a transformative development. The only downside is that this feature is not exactly easily discoverable. Hence, I'm going to provide a quick tutorial on how to use them. Let's start with a new empty shortcut. First of all, I'm going to drag in an action to get the current weather conditions and enter the city of York where I live as a location to get the weather details for. Next, I'll add another action, this time to get the sunrise, for which I can use the previous action as the source, as sunrise is an item of weather data for shortcuts. For this, I can use a get details of weather conditions action and set the detail to be the sunrise time. The third and final action I'll add is a text action. In this, I want to build a sentence to combine details about the weather conditions and the sunrise time. I'll start my sentence with the weather today is, and then I'm going to right click to bring up a context menu. On an iPad or iPhone, I would tap and select from the list that appears at the bottom, the shortcut titled Select Variable. On the Mac, I need to navigate to the Insert Variable option to reveal the list of variables. I want to select Select Variable. This is what allows me to select a magic variable. Here, I will select Weather Conditions. It is often useful to rename the magic variable, especially when you have multiple actions of the same type. Renaming makes it a lot easier to distinguish between them and understand which magic variable you're working with. For this instance, I'll rename it to York Conditions. If I run the shortcut now, it gives me a sentence about the weather today in York, but I also want to add the time the sun rose. I can add and the Sun Rose app to the text action, followed by the magic variable for the sunrise time. If I run the shortcut now, I get all of the details back in a single sentence that includes both items of data. Unfortunately, the sunrise time is the sunrise date and time, which doesn't read all that well. To correct this, I can select the sunrise time in the text action and change the date parameter to none. If I run the shortcut again, I get a much more readable sentence. That's a quick introduction to how to use magic variables and shortcuts, and it's one of the application's most powerful features, so it's well worth mastering. Until next time. Thank you.